Hey, welcome back. So today I have a model of glutamic acid, right? This is also called glutamate. So we have an alpha carbon here. We have an amine. There's a carboxylic acid. So there's your amino acid. And then we have two methylene groups right here. And then a carbonyl. Now you'll notice both, uh, or what, the, well, not a carbonyl, a carboxylic acid, but the carboxylic acid is in base form, right? Because it's a, I've modeled this at physiological pH, so that um, that's why we call it glutamate. Glutamate is often called the umami molecule, right? So this is very important in taste. As a flavor enhancer, the salt of this, the sodium salt, is monosodium glutamate. And monosodium glutamate is added to foods, mostly fast food, as a flavor enhancing agent. Um, it's also present in soy sauce and Parmesan cheese. Mushrooms are, are actually naturally rich in glutamic acid or glutamate, monosodium glutamate. So, and that uh, glutamate is also used as an, it's, it's an excitatory neurotransmitter in the CNS. So what that means is it helps nerve uh, cells send signals for learning and memory, um, but too much of this could cause excitotoxicity. Um, that's the overstimulation of neurons, and that could be linked to brain damage or, you know, stroke or neurodegenerative diseases. Now, metaboli uh, in metabolism, um, this is also connected to the citric acid cycle because if we just take this amine and convert it to a carbonyl, we're gonna get uh, alpha ketoglutarate, which is part of the citric acid cycle. So we can derive energy from this. We can also convert alpha ketoglutarate to um, glutamate um, as well. So this is very important in, met in metabolism. If we send this to the urea cycle, we can convert this to citrulline and ornithine and ultimately arginine. We can also make the amino acids proline from this, as well as uh, glutamine, um, as well as purine nucleotides also. So we can actually use this in the biosynthesis of other compounds um, directly through the citric acid cycle as well as the urea cycle. Um, so uh, glutamate, it's actually a pretty important molecule. It's very important in taste and it's very important in your CNS. So it's one of the essential, um, one of the amino acids.